Many people thought that these two teams were on a collision course for the championship game. Many people were right. The Bishop Ryan Lions have been perfect this season. Do the Aggies of Velva have what it takes to knock them off? We'll find out in the Region 6 championship game. The blue and gold versus the purple and gold coming up right now on the Beck Sports Network. On the year for the senior Newman. He's 100% so far. Here's Keller for two. Listen to this place. He's going bananas. Cassidy Peterson among the fans of Bishop Ryan. Kind of like the Cameron Crazies here. They're right on top of the players. Love Class B basketball for that reason right here. The whole town from Velvas here. Bishop Ryan has a large following as well. Going up for three. That's no good. Bishop Ryan the rebound. Now unleashing Wall. Gets behind the D and gets two. The sophomore. Tries to get it down low. What an entry pass for Gabby Ball. Those are the towers working together. The two on one led by Wall. Keller gets back there across for a row big three. Yes! That's a big three-pointer for Monica Rovic. And a timeout from Chris Broughton. Low they go. Worley working on Harmon. A lot of contact there. Up and good in the foul on the foul. Cassidy Peterson, right place at the right time. 29 to 16 is your score at halftime. The Lions going to milk a 13 point lead with a chance to go to the state tournament for the second year in a row. Of how good this Bishop Ryan team is. Keller for three. Nice shot from Keller from the outside. Feeble for three. That's short. Stewart unleashing Rovig, a two on one. Rovig with a left hand, too much, but Bowl is there to put up the putback. Wall, back to Rovi, inside for Bull. Big mismatch there, and she takes advantage over Sarah Worley. Taken away by Velva, they need to hurry, under five to play. It's Keller with speed. Keller draws contact, and she'll go to the line for two. Huge free throw here, especially mentally, to bring this to single digits. She hits it. Big free throw from the senior. Some cheerleaders on the sidelines of Velva. Look at that cheer from the Aggie faithful. Jalen Newman to the line. Fourth personal foul on Hannah Stewart. Listen to this place, Cisco Bananas. The other one came to Carrington earlier in the year. Top of the key, a three pointer. Yes! Cheyenne Schmidt off the bench. Why is Bishop Ryan so powerful? Cheyenne Schmidt hasn't even been in the ball game. She comes in and drains the tray. Velva Aggies believe that they can win this game. We knew that from the outset. And even when they were down 14 points in this second half, they still believe. But Velva with the ball, perhaps dodging a bullet. Sandy cutting to the lane, finding Newman. Just contact and the foul. Newman the answer. Rovi for Bowl. Bowl off the glass, that was easy. Newman on the baseline, oh, what a move, the hesitation, and a kiss off the glass. All the fans here on pins and needles, what a game we've had in the Region 6 championship. Newman pokes it away. Now trying to drive baseline, spinning, another foul. Unbelievable. And like Journey would say, don't stop believing. This is not a situation the Bishop Ryan Lions have played in at all this season. She wants it back. Keller into the lane. Floater. Yes! Edward! Somebody put that one on her highlight reel and sent it to the colleges across North Dakota. I wish you were here if you're at home watching it. We're glad you're aboard. This is going to get even better. Tough shot for Stewart. Ball cleans up the track. Big mismatches down low, and Stewart takes advantage. Unleashes Wall, the two on one. Wall to the cup. Yes. Play. Stewart down low has it. Puts it up and in. The air flowing out of Velva's tires. For the second straight year, the Bishop Ryan Lions are Region 6 champions. Yeah, let them get out there and celebrate a little bit. They deserve it. They put in the work in the offseason. They put in the work during the regular season. They're a basketball team that 
put everything into this tournament they had. They put everything into the tournament. Tip your hats to Velvet, ladies. You got nothing to hang your heads about. It's not easy to lose in a game like this. It's not easy to lose any game. Velva has a lot to be proud of. There's a lot of tears over there, but let's be happy about what you did. Congratulations, both teams. And the Lions remain undefeated. They're now 24-0. But a few more games to go before they can call themselves the state champions, and that was their goal when they started the season.